What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today guys I'm gonna be doing the one hour MT making challenge as you guys do see like shake and bake does Big C Richie does I know a few other youtubers that do do this challenge It's pretty fun You pretty much play triple threat for an hour and see the max amount of MT that you guys can make whether it's tokens You know whether you're getting diamond packs heat check packs anything along those lines here the reason why I want to do this challenge is because the new Galaxy Opal James Worthy did drop. And you know what? We just got our second pink diamond, so we're kind of grinding towards those. And yeah, James Worthy, definitely going to be a nice pickup to the team. And even if I don't get him they add a new one, that'd be pretty dope as well. But yeah, I'm going to throw a timer on the bottom left of the screen. And uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. All right, guys. Well, you guys can see we're off to a great start here as the first game took us about, what, three minutes to find? Yeah. Three minutes and ten seconds. That is actually how long it took us to find the first game here, which kind of sucks. And I just realized that I was talking on the mic. So this dude probably thinks that I'm crazy or something. But yeah, this video is obviously not going to be an hour long. I'm not going to make you guys watch all the boring stuff. But you guys are going to see all the packs that we do get and stuff like that. And you guys are going to see most of the gameplays. And honestly, with the challenge, man, you guys have you like you know like you have to try to win very fast. And like that's like the whole point of this challenge. You want to win as quickly as you can. Just to maximize your amount of MT, we are starting this video at 1,600, it was like 1,060, or one, oh my god, 161,000, I think, like, and then, like, there's, like, 700k, or 700 MT, I mean, um, so we're just gonna round up and do 162, I think that's, like, a, that's pretty fair, it'll just make the math easier at the end of the game, but these threes are gonna be crucial, Paul Pierce, I need you to knock them down, buddy, we might change up the lineup as well. Like, I have, uh, I did get Grant Hill now, so we might add him to the team here. And, like, honestly, getting Rage Quits would be, like, the most, like, ideal thing that we could possibly get here. So, you know, we might have to play some off-ball and stuff like that. This dude's playing off-ball on me, so what's fair is fair, you know what I'm saying? There we go, Mello. That a boy. That a boy. That's the way to play defense right there. Come on, Mello. We got to push, though. We can't, like, afford to get all these, like, dead balls and stuff like that. So, my man off-balling is actually going to help me win this game a lot faster. He's just going to leave the corners wide open. So, we're just going to have to take advantage of that every little bit that we can here. And like I said, rage quits ideally are what we want here. Okay, foul. See, okay, so that's perfect actually. He did quit. I wasn't sure if he quit or if we just fouled or like if we just called the foul there or not. But that's actually pretty good. A game down in technically two minutes. Actually, not even like a minute and a half of the gameplay. So that's pretty good to see. Nice little quick game right away. I don't know what my record was. I don't know if I'm supposed to start from the beginning or whatever the challenge is, but. This is the problem. The servers are so slow because of the new moments packs that came out and the um, the new moments packs that came out and the qualifiers going on. So I don't know why they decided to drop the packs now. They should have probably waited until the tournament was done. But it's 2K. They don't make a lot of sense. So it's whatever. Okay, so we finally get on the board here. We do have a uh, league pack it's looking like. So that's pretty good. That might make out for some good MT. So let's hopefully get that, which doesn't look like we're going to. It looks like we're just going to shoot far away from it. Which, uh, actually, maybe not. And we actually get the league packs. So that's actually a really good start right there. I made sure that I didn't have any packs or anything in my uh, rewards queue thing. So, that's pretty good right there. And like I said, we're starting out at 161. So, actually, we won't even round up. We'll just start at 161. We'll roll with that. Dude, the servers are so bad right now. It's going to make this challenge, like, next to impossible to do. Oh, my God. Come on, Melo. Let's go, baby. That's a good green light on that three-point line. Come on. 10-0 start right now. We just got to keep playing fast. The faster we play, the more games we can actually get in here, hopefully. I mean, especially with the servers being bad, like, you really don't know. Oh, that's not a steal. Like, hell no, brother. Like, that's a terrible shot, my guy. I don't know what you're doing. Let's go work the ball around. Is there a reason you cut in? Like, Pierce, that was going to go right to you, bud. But, hey, Melo's cooking. He's knocking down these threes for me. That's what we got to keep doing, though. I, and I wanted to say, too, I have a big announcement kind of coming. Like, I'm working with somebody, you know, a good friend, you know. It's a pain in the ass sometimes, but he's a good friend. He's going to help me, guys. I'm going to start editing my videos a little bit more for you guys in the sense that I, I was thinking about it. Like, so what ended up happening was I was actually watching one of my videos. Not, like, in that way. Like, I was just making sure that everything was good and whatnot. And I actually had somebody's video playing in the background. And they had just, like, a beat going. They weren't putting explosions or anything. You know, it was just literally just a beat in the background while they were talking. And but when they weren't talking, it was somebody's stream, actually. And when they weren't talking, like, I was listening to myself talk. And then um, there was, like, those, like, little beats in the background. And I started thinking about it. It just sounds, like, a lot more chill. It just sounds a little bit better, you know. Just listen to instead of just like empty noise. There's just like some music going on. So I figured why not? I'm going to kind of learn how to do that. Like my biggest thing is I really don't know how to do it. So I'll learn how to do that for you guys. And then we will be golden here. And uh, yeah, 
So if Melo hits this three, we just beat somebody 21-0. That's actually pretty dope. All right, well, you know what? I will take a heat check pack, and I will also take that token right there. Like I said, we are grinding. We just picked up our second pink diamond. So we get some MT in a spot here. Nothing too crazy. Um, unless it's like 200, 300, probably just a 100 spot. Yeah, go figure. I want the heat check pack. Like, I really do because, you know what? You never know what you could pull out of those. Like, if, even if I pull, like, a freaking no-name player, like, that still could be worth, like, 7K MT. So, that kind of sucks. We get both MT spots right here. I'm still pretty, like, I'm still pretty okay with the fact that we pulled the, um, we pulled the league pack in our first board. Like, I wasn't expecting to do that. Like, honestly, I was expecting to do this and then not open any packs for you guys. Um... Yeah, we'll give one, we'll give Pierce one more game, but if he plays bad, I'm gonna have to like sub in Grant Hill. Maybe, maybe Grant Hill will knock down those open threes. But I mean, maybe Pierce just had an off game. I don't know. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go, LeBron. What you got for him? All right, my man's playing on ball. I like that, bro. Melo is a god. I don't know why people sleep on this card, man. Like a lot of people say that his release is just too inconsistent for them. Which I guess, like, yeah, everybody has their own opinions on different cards. Wanna? Oh my. Okay, Pierce. I see you. I see you, bro. My man's definitely doesn't want to get kicked off this team. We're playing that kind of defense right there. But, I mean, like I said, everybody has their own opinions, and I get that. Like, it just it just throws me off, man, because, like, Melo, like, never misses for me. Like, yeah, like, he'll have, like, one bad game. Maybe one. And, like, I just don't understand why people still sleep on him, man. Let us. Another easy shot, bro. And he It just cash. Like, he just doesn't miss. Let's go hit Pierce. Pierce, give me that. Let's go, baby. There's that green light that I was looking for last game. I'll take it, man. 15 to 5 right now. We're actually playing really nicely, too. Like, we're making smart passes out here, playing great defense. I was just kind of waiting on him to throw that cross-court pass. Let's go. Hakeem, bro, what are you doing? How are you going to get out-rebounded by a freaking Ruby, my guy? Like, look at you, Hakeem. Jesus, bro. You're just going to give him, like, 15 opportunities to score here if he shoots this again. All right, let's go. Mello. I don't know, you're not obviously a good defender, but I'll take it, man. You got to play defense somewhere. I mean, if Hakeem's not going to do his job, Melo, you got to step up somewhere else like you're doing. I appreciate you. Let's go, Melo. Step up. Ah, that's a good shot. Thank you, Melo. Hakeem was low-key about to get out-rebounded again. Melo, it's you, baby. Damn, come on, dude. <laughs> Melo, give me that dagger, baby. Let's go, Melo. 23-2-5. We are actually killing it right now. Like, I'm actually really happy that I'm playing very well as well because if I wasn't, like, this challenge would be a lot more difficult if I was making terrible shots and games were taking forever. And like I said, take away five minutes. Like, we're averaging, like, five minutes per game almost. Like, probably a little less, to be honest with you. And you take away, like, the five minutes that you take, like, the, from, like, the delay of, like, how bad the servers are. And we're actually killing it. We're making, like, 500 MT per game right now. I mean, this is the way to make MT. Like, people don't understand, bro. You make MT so easily from Triple Threat online. Like, you make tokens very easily. You make MT very nicely. You have a chance to pull good cards, get diamond contracts, diamond shoes. Like, so many people sleep on this mode because, like, it's boring, which I understand. Like, yeah, it gets boring. But that's why you got to stream, man. It's a lot of fun. You stream, you interact with your chat. I mean, you just sit here and play triple threat. Like, it's kind of fun, bro. Like, I, I really enjoy it. Um, speaking of, I know I promised you guys a stream last night, and I said on Twitter, like, I was going to stream and whatnot, but my internet was so bad. Like, I got really afraid. I was really scared because when I hopped on today, like, this is how it was. And I thought it was my internet again. And luckily, it's just the 2K service because, like, look at this, bro. It just, like, you just see the timer running down, and it's so frustrating because I can't control this. Like, I'm going to do this a lot. Like, I think I'm going to do this, like, once a week. Like, I think that'd be fun for, like, videos for you guys. But, um, yeah, like, my, my internet was just god-awful. And I really feel bad because, like, I couldn't I couldn't do anything. You know, I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't record. I couldn't do, like, anything for you guys because everything was just so laggy. Like, and I didn't want to risk streaming because, like, if I did, like, my stream probably would have crashed, like, 15 times and y'all would have been mad. And it just wouldn't have been fun. So, Right here, we're probably going to get a bunch of these random packs. Like, yeah, I would love that league pack, but we're probably not going to get it. I mean, those are the good ones, too, because, like, those have a chance to get you, like, a silver player. Like, you could probably pull, like, not probably, but you could possibly pull, like, a Nugget silver player or something like that. But, like, yeah, I'm not – I obviously didn't get it. I didn't realize I only get two drops there. Um, so, luckily, even if we lose, like, two more games, we're still going to get some ball drops places. But, uh, yeah, this thing needs to hurry up, bro. No, 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 no. Why are we just leaving Jamal Murray open? Like, good rebound right there, but, like, damn, bro. Pierce, give me that shot, baby. That's a good first shot of the game. Good defense. Good, nice first shot right there. I don't know why they double-teamed. Like, they literally just, like, decided to run over at once. I don't know. 
Maybe got a little mix up on the defense here. That Jamal Murray's nice, bro, but you ain't gonna be hitting that. I can promise you that. I'm too nice at this game. Hell no, bro. Come on. Oh, grab the rebounds, dude. No, you're not hitting that either. <clears throat> okay. Smell the three in the corner. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you, 2K. Come on, Melo. Give me that. Easy jam at the rim. Come on, baby. Like I said, I got to play fast in these because the faster I play, the more like games we can play and the more boards we're going to win. Tell me this kid quit. Did he quit? Bro, don't tell me I ran into one of these kids. Yes! Okay, I got afraid. I was really afraid, dude, because sometimes kids just join triple threat games and then they just don't play. Like, they'll just sit here and they'll just be like, ah, bro, it's not, it's, I'm not worried. I'm just going to chill here. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, nah, we ain't doing that. No, you got you to gotta play. If you're going to join a game, you're going to play. All right, hopefully we get a good board here, which, okay, there's some potential here. Like, we could get that gold pack, we could get the league pack, and we could get the token here. First ball drop, I'm going to go for the league pack because, again, that does have the chance to get a silver player out of it, and it's looking like we are not going to get it, unfortunately. We're going to get the silver pack here, so I'll drop one more on that side, and then we are going to go for the gold pack because gold packs do have a good choice in it. Like, you could possibly get a good badge out of it, you know, or even a good shoe, really. I don't really sell shoes, so, like, the value on the shoe could be increased, but we're actually going to get the token. Not too mad about that. Like, obviously, that has no value towards our MT tools that we're trying to keep track of, but... I, I don't know. I really like getting tokens. <laughs> I'm still trying to get that worthy, like I said. And I still need to pick up Stockton. Wow, dude, that just dipped super far away from that gold pack. But I'm still trying to get... St I still need to get Stockton, Dikembe, and Duncan. Duncan's going to be the next one, but... I don't know. I wouldn't consider that an L, but considering we got lucky with a Rage Quit, I'll take it. Here we go. Another opponent here. My man's got a good team. He's got that Wiggins that you guys know that I do love. Hakeem, give me that, baby. First shot of the game. Okay. Not a good sign right there. Okay, like imagine just taking that as your first shot. Couldn't be this guy, huh? You're, what are you just gonna let Pierce shoot? You're just gonna get mad because Giannis missed an open three? I swear, bro, people have like no basketball IQ. This dude's literally just sitting there like throwing a fit. He's like, yo, no, no, this game's cheating me, bro. Perfect defense from Pierce right there. Good rebound from Will. That Will is underrated, guys. Like definitely, he plays probably just as good as a Galaxy Hope. Like I don't, I don't see why people sleep on that card so much. I just don't like having a center that can't shoot. Like. I know you guys know that that's not normally me. I just don't like it because, like, if I have a center that doesn't shoot, I get off-balled more than anybody, it feels like, and I just don't like that. Why did we just throw that pass? <sighs> Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. That's, like, that perfect rotations right there. Sorry. I hate when people, like, jump like that. They just sit there and spam jump, and it's, like, so annoying. All right. Bro, Giannis is so glitchy. Like, you cannot defend his stupid, like, layup packages and whatnot. Um, one thing I did mention on Twitter, though, that I wanted to bring to you guys in a video is going to be the uh, creation of my second channel here. I'm actually going to create a second channel that I think you guys would love to see. It's going to be for, like, Fortnite and stuff. Um, it'll be for Fortnite, rebuilds, and other things like that. I think you guys will enjoy that because I know a lot of you guys do enjoy my rebuilds and uh, enjoy Fortnite. I mean, a lot of you guys were asking me to play it, and... I do get a lot of wins every day. Like, me and my friends play all the time. And, like, I could definitely see me creating some funny videos that you guys would definitely enjoy. Um, so, I definitely would love to bring those to you. I don't know why I shot that. That was, like, deep as shit. We're, like, you know, right there is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, right there is why I hate when people off-ball me. Because then I off-ball back, dude. I gave up on the whole, oh, no, if, if you off-ball me, no, I'm just going to outplay you. I, I've proven myself plenty of times you guys that I can easily beat people when they off ball me I don't need to prove that I'm just gonna be like you guys dude It's just so easy to sit here and off ball bro Like it's so easy just to sit here and do absolutely nothing like me and this kid were playing a legit game You guys seen I was up six oh and then all of a sudden he wants to start off ball me like bro We ain't we ain't, we're not playing that game dude I'm not playing that game dude Absolutely not you can sit here and off ball me too go ahead Go ahead look at you you ain't shit bro you ain't shit with your on ball defense I'm letting you know that right now Thanks, Pierce. Just leave him wide ass open, bro. It's good. I never wanna hear you say. Hakeem, let's go, baby. Wide open, green light. I mean, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, you ain't nothing with your on ball, dude. You're not nothing, bro. Everybody thinks that they nice because they off ball. Like, there's one of my subs actually got into a fight on Twitter with somebody because the guy that he was fighting with was like, yo, I bet you off ball. And, like, the dude that he was fighting with, like, I'm not even gonna lie. 
not towards the sub, but like wasn't wrong. Everybody thinks that they're nice in this game because they off ball. Like, I don't think people truly understand how bad they would be if you physically couldn't play players out of position. Like, if they refuse to let you, like, even to the point where you couldn't run LeBron at power forward or something like that, you couldn't run players out of position. And, like, on top of that, like, you couldn't do that. You couldn't spam the same play. Like, if they put a limit on how many times you can run a certain play in a game, which obviously they'll never do, but the, if they put position locks in the game, if they put... I don't know. And they put position locks in the game. They blocked people from using plays. They took out five out. Um, they took out zone. Like, they took it out to the point where if you off ball on a zone, like, it doesn't reward you as much. Like, players don't steal that much in trap. Like, or um, they don't jump passing lanes as much. If they did all of that, half these people would be crap at this game. And I don't think people truly understand that. Like, it's, it's mainly just the off-balling and the out-of-player positions and the whole base 11 thing. So many people think that they're nice because they get cards that can just shoot over other people. And it just, it's just not true, bro. Okay, so this is actually some problems here. We do have another heat check pack on the board. So I think if I don't get it right away, which I'm hoping I do, obviously, so this way we can go for that gold pack as well. Um, okay, <laughs> that's not the bounce that I wanted there. But yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that we do get that heat check pack because again, heat check packs probably are one of the things that have the most value in triple threat, I feel like. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to lie. Our boards have actually been really nice today. So yep, we don't get it again. So that's cool. I don't know why, like, I don't know. Everybody always says too that the board drops on triple threat online and for locker codes, it just decides where it's going to go right when you drop it. Like you can drop it in the same spot every time and like it'll just go different ways. Like look at this. It's, again, just a completely different way, bro. I feel like it just doesn't ever want you to get the good thing. How? How much money have you spent on this game to have Wilt and Worthy? What is this, bro? What is this? You have Diamond? Or, not Diamond. Not even Diamond. Holy crap. I feel like I need to message this kid and be like, yo, can I get this gameplay, please? Like, Jesus, my man. Like, you must play an ass load of triple threat, dude. Like, he's got to play an ass load, bro. Like, do you not... That's literally... That's literally 1,500 tokens that you need. Like, so from the Christmas locker codes, he must have gotten both 75. So he must have gotten a free pink diamond from those. He must have every collection completed. Like, every single one. I'm trying to figure out how this dude has done this, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm really trying to figure out how he did this. Because that's 1,500 tokens right there. You need 750 tokens to get the pink diamonds. You need 600 tokens to get the diamonds. Like, that's a lot of tokens, bro, that this dude has gotten. And, like, damn, dude. Like, that's a shit ton of tokens. Come on, Pierce. Let's go, baby. Good green light on in transition right there. This Worthy is playing, like, trash. Like, I don't know if I'm just playing good defense on him, but he's missing a lot of wide open threes. I mean, okay. Go figure, I say that, and then he hits a freaking double contested three right there, but no, in all seriousness though, dude, he's literally just missing a lot of wide open shots right there, bro. It's like, look, don't do this, dude. Like, I know you're losing right now. You clearly have a better team than me. Do not start off-balling me to try to be, like, better or whatever. Like, that's a good shot right there from Worthy. See, now he's going to start cashing in these threes, which is fair, but don't start off-balling me, bro. We were having a legit game. I'm going to have to hop on the mic, though, for real, if you start off-balling me, bro. Mellow. Dagger, baby. Give me that mellow. Let's go, mellow. That's how you beat a team of two Galaxy Opals. I'm still at, at loss for words, bro, on how this dude has both of them. If he had one and, like, if he had the worthy but didn't have Wilt, like, that would make sense. But, like, how do you have that many, dude? Like, it, it, okay, so... The way that this makes me feel like is this dude is the luckiest guy in the world, right? Because all these to like all these locker codes that come out, it's making me think that he's been getting the tokens in all of them. Like he's been getting the five, the five, the five, the twenty, the twenty, both seventy fives. Like he got a couple more twenties. Like instead of getting any of like the players, he was getting tokens. Like that's a lot of tokens, bro. Like that's a lot of tokens. Like that's over like three thousand tokens, bro. We finally get a diamond pack on the board though. Obviously, I really want it. I'm a little afraid it's not going to give it to me, though. So, we're going to dress drop it right here. Hope for the best here. 
Dude, it just seems like it just doesn't want to go that way anymore. Like, what the hell? It was the same thing on the other side. I, like, tried to drop it this way, and it just doesn't want to. I, I don't know, man. I'm going to try something new, because apparently that, like, that's just not working. Like, we'll try to go, like, here instead. Okay, that. All right, this is a little bit more promising here. Yeah, this is a little bit more promising. I like it. As long as it stays there. Yes, yes, and yes! There we go. We get the diamond pack. That's, like... Honestly, so right now we have a league pack. We have a few like the random packs that we don't really care for and we have a diamond pack So that's good right there. We're at least making something here Let me get that gold pack too. Okay, I'll take the empty we land right back where the diamond pack was again So I'll take that man. We have 20 minutes left in this challenge We can definitely get a couple more games in where I'm hoping we don't lose because then we have four picks four picks and five picks Which is still a lot of empty that we need to make Come on, hit Mellow. Mellow, big shot. First shot of the game. Let's go. Good shot, Mellow. This is going to be a game where you guys are going to see something that I don't normally do. This dude has Diamond Westbrook, which I don't care what you want to do, bro. Yeah, you can feel free to take that all game long, dude. That Westbrook card can't do nothing. Why? Why throw it that way? I don't understand. Go ahead. Take it again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. You're either going to beat me with these threes or that's it, bro. I, I, don't, I don't even care, dude. If you're not going to freaking, you're not, I'm not going to play defense on that. I'm not. You can either beat me by hitting those threes or not. But I was going to say I'm just going to off ball. But, bro, again, all game. You Good. Congratulations, man. You hit one. I'm not playing defense, though. Yeah, he even paused, too. Because, look, exactly, bro. He even knows it's some bullshit. <laughs> Come on, Hakeem. Let's go, baby. Wide open green light. He's hit two now with Westbrook, which is kind of making me uh, be a little bit annoyed here. And it keeps pausing on me every time he shoots it, bro. You're either going to beat me with these threes or no. Let's go. Perfect bait in the corner. The only reason why I'm going to bait the corner ones is because anybody can really hit a corner three in this game. So, like, that's the only reason why I want to do that. Hakeem, please get in bounds. Oh, it's so dumb, bro. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It really is. Like, I play, like, I say I play, like, legit defense here. Like, bro... He even knows it's bullshit, and this game is just going to continuously let him hit. And you're going to make me miss wide open dunks. Like, that's tough, bro. That, that's that's really messed up. I'm glad Mel is knocking down that three, but, like, jeez, dude. I'm still going to let him shoot, bro. 2K has to realize at some point that it's nonsense. Go ahead. Take it again, bro. I don't care. Thank you. Like, come on. It's a whole lot of nonsense, dude. I want to take some smarter shots out here. I don't want to take any more jumpers. The jumper is not falling for us, let alone him. So I'd rather not risk it here. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> Just keep chucking with Westbrook, bro. You're not going to beat me by using Westbrook. Or at least you shouldn't. Why Melo decides to touch that, I don't know. You know, my favorite thing about this whole entire game right here is that this dude pauses every time he greens one with him or makes one with him. I think he only didn't do that right now because I think he knows that he only has one, time, or one pause left. And I was really hoping that he didn't realize that. Bro, you can off-ball me all you want, dude. Hakeem, you literally just sold me right there. I just want you to know that. But, yeah, Hakeem. Okay. Let's go. That's, like, th dude, that's just basketball IQ right there. I don't know why you're pausing, bro. I don't have to outplay you, dude. I mean, I don't have to freaking guard your players. That's why that Westbrook's trash. He's a liability, bro. Okay, so for a four-ball drop board, this is kind of cheeks, like, I just really want the tokens, which I'm not going to get because it's just going to roll. Yeah, I like that. And it's not going to give me the tokens. Go figure. <sighs> but, yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know. Like, this board is kind of Actually, that's a 500 MT spot. Now, I think, like, even if I land there again, it's just going to be 100 now. But that's actually pretty nice, dude. Which, uh, yeah, we're going to actually, end, like, end up landing there again, which I believe now only it's going to be 100 spot. And it is. So that's kind of unfortunate here. We're going to try one more time for the tokens. And then I guess I, I'll, I'll just go for like a silver pack or something. Um, yeah. Okay. So it looks like we're just going to get the silver pack like I said, I guess. So now we can just go for the tokens again because like that's just really what I want. I just want the five tokens that I've seen to land around three times now. So let's try one more time for the token spot and hope it works out here. Probably not though, knowing this game. And let's see. Will we end up getting tokens? It's actually looking pretty good. And we actually get the tokens on the final drop. So I'll take that. Okay, way to use your face, Pierce. I appreciate it, bud. <laughs> oh, man. I love the steals that you get in this game when people just use your face. Like, it's just kind of funny to me. Wow, Draymond's actually going to be a... 
Huh. <laughs> Draymond's actually just gonna be pulling that. I like it though. Okay. Mellow, please just hit that for me. That's off. Okay, Mellow, I like it, bro. I like those like deep little splashes you got going on there. We're coming in at the 10 minute mark left into this challenge here, so I, <sighs> you know, <laughs> it's just stupid shit like this, bro. That makes me feel like this game's just gonna take an hour and a half, bro. Why is Hakeem getting blocked by freaking Draymond? Like Draymond's a good defender, but like, come on, bro. Don't even lie to me like that. We probably have enough time, depending on how the servers are, to play, like, maybe even two more games out of this. So we have a chance to really get the um, the next four ball drop, a five ball drop, and then possibly another, like, single. Like I said, it all depends on the servers, though, and on how fast that we can beat these guys. I mean, we're balling out right now. This is definitely my favorite triple threat lineup to run because I love Melo's release. It's still one of my favorites to use. Paul Pierce is just super slept on in this game. I don't know why. People just overlook him because, like, Grant Hill's an option. Like, I truly feel like if Grant Hill wasn't there, everybody would be talking about how great this Pierce is. Like, everyone's like, oh, his release is so slow. Like, it's really not. Like, there was nothing wrong with that release. 2K is just hating. All right, so we actually do have another chance to get a diamond pack here, which that is a spot we've been landing in a lot. So hopefully we can actually just land in that spot first try and then go for the, uh, I don't know, maybe MT spots. I don't really know. There's nothing else to really go for on this board. And, of course, it bounces the wrong way. It was a good land. It just needs to bounce to the left this time. But we get a silver pack. Pretty nice. Better than probably the bronze spot. Um, I think the silver packs you can still get badges in. They're just not like the good ones. Like you're not going to get like posterizer and stuff out of that. You'll get like... Um... No! Yo, bro. Please give me this diamond pack. Like we need this, bro. We need this diamond pack right now. Like right now we've made 4,000 MT from... Um... <clears throat> we've made 4,000 MT right now from just playing the game right now we haven't obviously opened any of the packs or anything we've gotten but yes bro i was so scared i was so scared because like it was bouncing and it was like eh, and i just thought it was gonna roll over but there we go we get the diamond contract or diamond shoe whatever it is that's pretty nice to see and then that is honestly perfect that is honestly perfect all i wanted was those tokens we have time probably for one more game where i'm hoping we can get the five ball drop here. If we win this game, we get the five ball drop, and we can probably end on a really good note. He's running a nice little pink diamond squad of Iverson, Jordan, and Blake. He's actually sticking on ball, which I do like, so that's obviously good to see in our final game here. We're going to like let him attack the rim a little bit. Definitely rather him um, do that than shoot threes, because if he starts shooting threes over me, he could probably kill us that way. Um, so, yeah, let's see what, how this game rolls out here. Going all the way with Pierce again. Iverson's too small, too small, <laughs> too small to defend Pierce right now. So that's probably going to be the mismatch that we do attack with. And this is why I do like running a small forward, small forward, and a uh, center, just because you do find yourselves getting a lot of mismatches. That's great defense right there. If that, if Pierce is like Durant or LeBron or Kawhi, even like that was about to be sent, bro. But it is what it is, man. <laughs> Can't win them all. But, again, we're just going to attack this mismatch right here all day long. So, honestly, if he starts off-balling a little bit just to kind of help out Iverson, I will definitely understand here. Hakeem, grab that ball, please. Thank you. Mello, wide open. Good green light on that three right there. That's a big three right there, giving us a nice five-point gap. Hakeem for three. Let's go, baby. All right, Hakeem, I like it. Three more points, man. We win this game. We have plenty of time. I believe you're allowed to finish the game that you're in anyway. So even if the timer was to expire in this game, we would still be okay, which is good to know. Because, like, honestly, if it wasn't, that would suck. But there we go, Mellow. Nice green light to end the game here. Just about to approach the minute mark left in this challenge. So we didn't end up losing a game, which is pretty nice. Um, going undefeated. Um, I wonder how many games. I think we played seven games, which is kind of crazy to think about. Like, you play seven triple threat games in an hour. Like, that's kind of... That's kind of crazy when you really think about it. Like you, I kind of expected to play like a lot more games. Like you think about an hour, you're like, oh, I'm gonna play, play, I'm gonna be playing all these games, and like not really, you know. So I don't know, man. But yeah, you guys can see I'm gonna just turn the timer off. There's really no point of having it on now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really hope you guys do enjoy this cool little video. I think you know it's a great idea from Shake. It's a great idea from Richie. Like. Um, I don't know who came up with the series originally. I just know that uh, Shake is the one that started the series. So all credit goes to him. I'm not claiming to start the series. But I think we could have played a lot more games if the servers weren't so bad. Like, I think it's the servers. Like, being so bad is why. But perfect five ball drop here. Um, and the board is complete shit, bro. Wow, dude. 
That actually sucks, dude. Out of all the uh, diamond packs, out of all of like the tokens, heat check packs that we've seen, like I got, I guess, pretty lucky because this being our five ball drop really sucks. We got a bronze pack here, adding to the MT totals, like. So our MT actually ended up being capped at 165.5. So. So that's like what 4,500 in-game MT. That's not the worst. It's pretty good. I mean, obviously had some of the uh, MT from here as well helping out. And then we do have two diamond packs. A heat. Sh no, we didn't get any heat check packs. I think we have do like uh, yeah. See, there's two heat check packs we could have still gotten, which kind of sucks that we didn't. But we still have the two diamond packs, the league pack, and then a few of these like random packs that you get. You know, that have badges, whatever in them. Um, probably gonna have like injury cards. I mean, contracts will be nice. But I can't believe that we're just ending our final ball drop on, like, the shittiest board, dude. Like, the shittiest board that we've seen all run is what I'm saying. Like, it could have been a lot better, but it is what it is, man. So, like I said, I hope you guys did enjoy the series. I'm going to uh, obviously open the packs right now for you guys and whatnot. But, yeah, let me know if you guys did enjoy this. Let's try to hit, like, 20 likes. I think 20 likes is a fair goal on this little video here. Um, So, yeah, almost capping off with 5,000 in-game MT. We got 12 packs, actually, throughout the whole thing. So, that's actually a lot more than I thought we were going to get. And, dude, again, with these freaking shit servers, bro. Okay, so the, both those badges, like, the flashy passer went for 250 and charge card went for 300. So, that's, like, 550 MT right there. So, right now, we're sitting at a 5.5K profit, which... That's not the best right now. Like, I mean, clearly we haven't gotten into the good stuff, but Hustle Rebounder, I know Hustle Rebounder goes for 250, so we'll add another 250 in there. Um, okay. All the silver packs that I pulled, I pulled badges that none of them, all of them went for 250. So, right now we're sitting at 6,350 as a total of what we earned in our league pack. Oh, I really wanted a silver player, dude. I'm going to say both those shoes probably are worth 300 not each just together and then alex lens probably worth probably just the buyout actually alex Len might be worth something i'm actually gonna check that out because the playbook could be worth 250 as well because people buy playbooks all the time for a collection level so i'm gonna account for that i'm gonna say that alex len actually i mean i'm gonna say that the playbook counts for 250 and then alex len i'm gonna check on his price whenever these servers stop being so shit Okay, so Alex Len probably can sell for around a thousand MT, which isn't the worst. I mean, obviously it could be a lot better than that, but yeah, hey, a thousand MT for a gold player, not bad, I guess. I mean, it's kind of crazy because you can pick up rubies for a thousand MT, so you could literally sell a gold and get a uh, ruby. So that's pretty crazy. But the highlight of this whole entire challenge was the two diamond packs that we did pull. So we're gonna go ahead and rip those now. Ideally, I want to contract in one of these. I know it might not be the best for like value wise, but I do want to contract. Yo, that's a massive dub, dude. We pull the freaking red Kyries, which I know go for a lot. So that's actually a fat dub right there. I'm going to go ahead and sell those right away here. I'll take that, man. I did not think we were going to pull red Kyries. Like, I thought we were going to get, like, the two, like, stupid random shoes that you can pull that, like, nobody really cares for. Like, I know one's, like, a purple one. The other one's, like, light blue, I think. I don't know, I could be wrong about the second one. And the second one, we get Air Jordans, which speed three-point moving. Okay, so that's actually not a bad shoe as well. So there's two three-point shoes that we just pulled right there, which could maximize our MT pretty nicely. So right now, we're sitting at a profit of 7,900 MT. I'm going to sell these shoes, and then I will see you guys when they sell. Okay, so you guys see, these are the three things that we put up on the auction. We got both shoes and the gold card. Everything else, I pretty much, I'm just going to quick sell, obviously, after this. But in total... 15k six or not 15k uh 45k 46k plus the 8k we already added so what 54k in total so that's gonna push us actually over the 200k mark so playing an hour of triple dart we ended up making 54,000 mt which is pretty dope i think that's a pretty good first uh first attempt at this challenge so uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and with that being said guys i'll see you in the next video